This time every year, monarch butterflies descend on Cape May Point before continuing the 2,000 mile journey to Mexico, but their population is dwindling. We're losing an iconic insect. This is like the Marilyn Monroe of the insect world. The one place we can look at the entire population is on the wintering grounds in Mexico, and there we've documented a more than 90% decline in the monarchs in 20 years. A decrease in the amount of milkweed is largely to blame for the decrease in the amount of monarchs. Monarchs cannot live without milkweed. So that's actually a whole. Layer. Milkweed's the only spot where this angelic insect will lay her eggs, and it's the only plant the caterpillar will eat before transforming into a butterfly. If you're going to get rid of milkweed, you're going to get rid of monarchs. Researchers with the Monarch Monitoring Project say there used to be lots of milkweed in the Midwest. Now, the genetically modified soybeans and corns and other crops allow the farmers to spray herbicide and get rid of all of the uh, different weeds that are around the farm and includes the milkweed. This is not the most important thing on our agenda, but it is something that's of vital importance to the environment in New Jersey and in the United States. Four bills in the assembly are aimed at increasing the monarch population, which among other things would support the creation of wildlife habitats where milkweed can thrive. Maybe this is a key to how to support better bug populations that in the long run support our crops, support our foods. Researchers with the Monarch Monitoring Project say creating a wildlife friendly habitat like this one in your own backyard is one way to help the monarchs recover. These gardens, which contain milkweed, are all over Cape May Point and growing in popularity throughout New Jersey, which explains why the number of monarchs here hasn't declined as drastically as other states, insist experts. Now, if the state of New Jersey jumps on board, New Jersey could become a vital reservoir for the monarch population in North America and an example for other states to follow. Legislators are expected to meet with butterfly experts to discuss the bills next month. In Cape May Point, I'm Lauren Wonko and JTV News.